Good morning, Caleb. So how's prison? Nobody likes cops in here, so I had to earn their respect by starting a bunch of riots. Got thrown in solitary for a week. What's going on with your face? I hate seeing you like this, so I'm flexing my eyes real hard to keep from crying. Are you a cannibal, Caleb? Well, that's not how I would define myself. If we're going by what I'm most passionate about, I would say that I'm a woodworker. Hey, everyone, I'm Jake. I just need a moment of your time, and then you can get back to watching your stories. I can make a shiv out of anything. And I'm just super excited to join, what do you guys call it again? ISIS. ISIS. So does this mean that I'm part of the crew? Nobody can touch you now. Romero's responsible for most of the illegal stuff that goes on in this prison. I've always wanted a man on the inside. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We've been watching Hawkins for a month, and we have nothing to connect her to the robberies. Maybe we should pursue other routes. Um, some of us are already pursuing other routes, Amy. This is Charles Boyle, and you're listening to Detective Peralta, a god in shackles. You have something on Hawkins? He's about to move $5 million worth of stolen diamonds. Stones the tie to the robberies. I can tell you how to find him. Maybe we can figure out what Murphy knows without taking his deal. Romero doesn't stash the drugs in here. He comes in here to make the blizz balls. Hey, you don't think you can get high from rubbing drugs on like your eyes and armpits and up under your B parts, can you? Ooh, you definitely can. Here it comes. Okay, Jake, don't freak out. Just stay calm. You're on a crazy amount of blizz, but your brain still works. Are you on blizz? What makes you think that? Because you just told us. OK, Jake, don't freak out. Just stay calm. You're on a crazy amount of blizz, but your brain still works. Yep, I am nips deep in blizz. Nice. These pigs weigh more than 200 pounds, which means they're finishing pigs. And why would a farmer force feed a finishing pig? The diamonds! You were right. Pigs' stomachs were full of diamonds. Really the we found the diamonds, and Langdon confessed. It's over, Hawkins. Please give a warm 9-9 welcome to Jake Peralta and Rosa Diaz! <laughs> It's so good to be back. Amen, brother. I'm back, and I'm ready for a case. You've been assigned to desk, dude. Oh, please, don't make me sit behind a desk all day. Look, I'm ready. I'm the same old Jake. NYPD, are you Morris Richmond? Yes. And are those Wheezies? Yes. You're under arrest for grand larceny. I didn't do anything. Is this about the Wheezies? A friend gave them to me. I'm innocent. Come on, man, I'm innocent. Sure you are, buddy. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I mean, what if he was telling the truth? What if he was innocent and I was putting an innocent man in jail? Look, I wanted to be back in the field because I wanted to be the old me, but the truth is I'm not the old me yet. Maybe I never will be. I wish every cop had a voice in their head asking, what if he's innocent? You see it as a weakness, but it means you're growing. It makes you a better detective. What are you smiling about? How uncomfortable this guy is. Jacked up the thermostat, got the table all sticky, made one of the chair legs too short, and worst of all, I had Gina greet him. What did you have her do? Be yourself. Poor son of a bitch. So the night of the murder, you met with Robert in the surgical suite. Why there? Why not your office? I was just preparing for the next day's surgery. But let me ask you this. Did you kill him? Nah. You know, it's not surprising nobody remembers seeing me. The bar was extremely crowded that night, and I spent my whole time in the corner talking to this woman, Dana. Either way, we've got you. We don't have him. But I just told him we did have him. OK, we have a few more questions for you, doctor. Doctor? Huh? <laughs> it's funny when people call dentists doctor. We are doctors. Most people want to become actual doctor. That's ridiculous. It's not like we're college professors calling ourselves doctors. A PhD is a doctorate. It's literally describing a doctor. Now, I know we live in a world where anything can mean anything, and nobody even cares about etymology. Apparently, that's a trigger for me. Yeah, apparently. Why did he make you dumb cop? He didn't make me dumb cop. I just feel bad for you. I said shut Your up. Your boss thinks you're an idiot. That can't feel good. All right, listen, you son of a bitch. You think you're smarter than us? You think you've gotten away with it? You haven't. We're going to find something. One skin cell, one eyelash, one tiny inconsistency in your story, and you're going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Everyone who loves you will leave, and you will die alone. And at that time, it will be your head that a bear has sex with. Do you feel like I lost the upper hand? Because I still think it's about 50-50. I'm going to go to the bathroom and try and clear my head. Oh, no, Peralta. What are you doing? Guess what, you dick? I just got off the phone with Vernon PD. No, no, no. Your uncle's no. neighbor saw you go into the cabin the night of the murder. They ID'd your photo. I've got you dead to rights. Interesting. But uh, my uncle only has one neighbor, and I'm pretty sure he didn't identify me. Oh, really? Because you were so careful. Because he's been dead three years. Well. I told you not to lie. What were you thinking? I thought it would work. 
and I wanted to be the one that got him. Is this about your ego? Are you that desperate for everyone to know how great you are? Oh, my God. I got it. The Yelp shot has six of these heavy-looking glass awards from the Brooklyn Periodontic Society in the background, whereas this shot only has five. What happened to number six? Murdered Robert with it. I did. You lost all control and you bludgeoned him to death. There must have been blood everywhere, but you got lucky. You were in the surgical suite. It can be sterilized. You never would have gotten away with it in your carpeted office. That's not what happened. Don't say anything more, Philip. And your office manager would have heard all of the screaming, but she was at her grandson's play. Lucky again. You're wrong. You put Robert's body into a wheelchair and shoved it in the elevator. It's a miracle there wasn't blood everywhere. That's not true. Now you're in the garage with a corpse. You panicked and left your phone in your office, and you don't have your car keys, but Robert's are in his pocket, so you put him in his car and you take off. No. You can't believe what you've done. No. Philip. You're flustered. You have no GPS, so you just start driving. No. Philip. Next thing you know, you're in the Pine Barrens, and it hits you. Your uncle's cabin. He has a place there. You're the luckiest son of it a It wasn't bitch. luck. Yes, it was. You got lucky at every turn. No. I knew exactly where I was driving. I left my phone in the office on purpose. I was in a surgical suite by design, and I didn't use some glass award that any idiot would clearly see was missing. I made a rod out of a special dental polymer, killed him with it, then melted it back down. It's already in a patient's mouth, son. Did you know you had the wrong murder weapon? Oh, excellent question, sir. Yes. I spotted the missing dental award when I first took the case. I asked around weeks ago. It turns out a cleaning lady knocked it over and shattered it. Then why did you run in there like that? Because in talking to you, I realized what Philip's worst fear actually was, that we would think he was just some dummy that got lucky. Right. He had planned the perfect crime, and it killed him when you said he was sloppy and impulsive. He needed us to know how smart he was. Right. Like someone else I know. Yep. Kevin. What's going on? What's going on is Captain Holt has an interview to become the commissioner of the friggin' NYPD. Sir, you're the perfect candidate. Smart, well-respected, you smell great. That has nothing to do with the job. It's just something I've been meaning to tell you. Is it Sandalwood? Please calm down. You're definitely gonna get it. You're gonna smell even better with that Lord High Commander of All Justice stank on you. Let's do this! I can't wait to get on a plane. Cancel, cancel, cancel. What is going on? All flights are grounded. Oh, oh man. Now we have until Monday morning, and it takes 48 hours to drive from L.A. to New York. We've still got time. No, we don't. I checked with all the car rental agencies. There are no available vehicles. There's got to be a way to get you back. May I present to you the finest RV that not much money can buy, the American Creeper. <laughs> this is going great. I'm already used to the bouncing and shaking. I smell smoke. Really? All I smell is residual sculling. Pull up right now. <laughs> I checked everywhere. Nothing's on fire. We just wasted 10 minutes for no reason. Oh. How far is it to Mansford, Texas? Like half an hour? Great. I have cousins there, Becca, Tommy, and Steve. There's a boil in every state. Texas boils. I'm excited. Oh, thank you so much for letting us stay here. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. God, it is so nice to meet you guys. Guys, guys, wake up, wake up, wake up. I know you've given up on your future, but I haven't. You're going to that interview. Yeah, it's terrifying, but it doesn't matter because we're almost to the airport. What? No, why? We got a tip saying there were drugs being moved in the back of a gray bovine transport unit. Who calls it that? Everyone, that's what they're called. Look, we've been busting our asses the whole weekend to try and get you back to New York in time, and for what? I'm compromised. Hello? Did my information prove useful with the diamonds and the pigs? Yes, and now you owe me a favor. And don't even think about screwing me. You're going to get the job, and you're going to become commissioner. And we'll all figure out what to do about Murphy. It's official. My hat is in the ring for commissioner. Yeah! Seamus is planning on stealing $20 million in bearer bonds from an armored truck. As we speak, the block party is in full swing. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Turns out he only wanted a permit so the street would be closed down, forcing the armored truck to divert down a narrow abandoned alley. It's the perfect place for an ambush. But we changed the truck's schedule so they hadn't picked up the bonds yet. Hey, there's nothing in here. That truck is as empty as Jackson Brown's running surface. You don't owe me anything, but I owe you. You tell your husband, Kevin, I'll see him real soon. Get in! Professor? Student? Hello, Kevin. It's me, Raymond Holt. We need to get you to safety. Your life is in danger. This is the living room. This is one of several designated areas where you can stand upright during the day. Well, I can see this is going to be a fun couple of months. Screw this. We need a break. I'm a cop. I can protect us. We're going to the library. What was that? I don't know. Don't worry. 
I'll creep them right the hell out of here. Bang, you're dead, and so is Kevin. Oh, thank God, it's just you. We have to get back to the safe house immediately. Let's go. <laughs> go, go! So, Seamus, are you gonna kill me? No, don't be stupid, nothing like that. I'm just gonna find your husband, bring him here, slit his throat in front of you, then after you watch him suffer, kill you too. Hey there. Where is Kevin? Better get some corticosteroids to treat that laryngeal fracture. Sorry, I couldn't bring myself to call him a dirt bag. Then why would you? A dirt bag is a very useful part of the vacuum cleaner. Clearly, it's a compliment. It's over now. He can't hurt me or Kevin. Thank you. You know, in a weird way, I'm gonna miss our little house. Yes, and in an even weirder way, I think I might actually miss you. And in an even weirder way, I want you guys to be my dads. That is weirder. Yeah, I got stuff. Something I'd like to say. I'm a pretty private person, so this is kind of hard for me, but here we go. I'm bisexual. What made you decide to tell us now? Charles found out on the road trip. Who are you talking to? Is that your mystery hunk? Babe, are you all right? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'll call you back later. Was that a woman's voice? It's my sister. Wait, she called you babe. When my cousin called me babe, you said relatives shouldn't do that. What's really going on? I'm dating a woman. That's great. Just leave it alone, Boyle. By all means. Not you, Becca. I was positive he was not going to be able to keep the secret for much longer. Bye, Rosa. I mean, not bye, but bye. I mean, see ya. I mean, have fun only having sex with men, just banging dudes left and right. I just stopped saying bye altogether. I think I'm ready to tell my parents. That's awesome. What are you going to do it? In five minutes. What? Actually, scratch that. They're here. This is happening, and I need you to be here with me, and also maybe just step in and do it for me. Rosa, I think that's a really bad idea, and frankly, I'm not very comfortable. Well, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Diaz. Don't worry. We know what's happening. You do? Of course. You and Jake are dating. Rosa and I are not. Denying that we're dating. Uh, you're right. We're a couple. Oh. Who was that in the picture? Just my mom. Kind of looked like your co-worker Amy. Jake and Amy are engaged. That's OK. What? We were worried you were going to tell us you were gay. I'm not straight. I'm bisexual. Screw this. I'm out of here. What's going on? Family game night. Don't worry. I brought Twister. Hey, what was that? Yes, you should be very proud of yourself. I know things aren't exactly where you want to be right now, but uh, I promise you they will improve. Thank you, Captain. Every time someone steps up and says who they are, the world becomes a better, more interesting place. So, thank you. It's heist time. Some of you have asked me what got me through prison. The only thing that kept me sane was planning for the Halloween heist those many years doing hard time. It was eight weeks. I also went to prison, dog. We're getting off track here. What's going on? Is someone doing something? Who's doing something? Handmaid's Tale. This is Amy. She won't shut up about how relevant that show is in today's political landscape. It's relevant as hell, but I'm not doing anything. Terry also loved the show. This is him. No, no, I love Elizabeth Moss. Terry thought the show was too bleak. Oh, well, they're coming from everywhere. Good luck keeping up with me. I've done my morning calisthenics. No, I'll keep up with you. In hell. You see, Jake, I'm always going to be one step ahead of you. You've lost the ability to surprise me. You're just plain boring. Yeah. Although, you might want to read the inscription on that there belt. Amy Santiago, will you marry me? Will you marry me? Jake Peralta, I will marry you. How would you like to spend your day off with me doing an endless list of wedding tasks? Jake, you got to pick a napkin. The binder said they should be beige. I didn't realize there'd be 45 different shades. You just have to trust your gut. What is your gut telling you? Is it this one? With that crimping? No way. Oh my god, what did I just do? You listen to your gut. Yes, I have a gut, my groom gut. This one's too big. This is too scratchy. This one is shedding. This one's too rustic. Am I using that term right? Yes, you're doing it. It is too rustic. Why are you being such a nut job about looking for a wedding dress? Because being a female sergeant is difficult, and looking at girls dresses isn't going to help. It's a new job, and I need to make it a priority. If you want a beautiful wedding dress, you deserve to find one. Why don't we just take our break now? Try one on. OK? OK. OK? OK. OK? OK. Hallelilies, do you think I'm planning a funeral? I want dahlias. 
No, no, no. Brown sprinkles at the ice cream bar? Do you think I'm planning a funeral? Give me rainbow. Mini lamb shanks? Do you think I'm planning a funeral? Swap them out for some tiny tuna tacos. <laughs> Hey, Sarge, look at this. I cleared all my alarms. We're amazing. Should we start a business where we just become professional choosers? We could call it Pro-Choice Industries. Jay? You're right, that name is needlessly political, but the business idea is solid. No, I'm not talking about that. All those decisions you made, you are way over budget. Oh, no. My groom gut is a fancy bitch. Now spin. All units, purpose heading east on Baltic. That's us, we're on Baltic. Oh, crap, that was him! <laughs> Stay down. Damn, Sarge. Maybe I do like the sash. Hello? Jake Peralta. Yes? There's a bomb at your wedding. It's set to explode at 5.30. Everyone inside will die. So? How did this guy even find out about the wedding? The stupid engagement announcement Charles put in the paper. It had the time and location of the ceremony. Amy, be very careful about throwing around accusations like that, because if you're trying to say I somehow ruined Jake's wedding, then I'm gonna kill myself. So tread lightly. I can't believe this is happening. Don't worry about them. Let's go check on Teddy. I'm sure he's made a ton of progress. Nope, still putting on the bomb suit. Yeah, my job is super dangerous, but I like living life on the edge. Just kind of sexy if you think about it. Ugh, there's no bomb. <laughs> Did you read the email? Are you the commissioner? I haven't opened it yet. What? Today is Peralta and Santiago's wedding. I don't want to make it all about me. So you're scared to open it? Don't be absurd. I simply want everyone to focus on the bride and groom and not on whether my lifelong dream, which I spent decades working towards, has collapsed in front of my eyes. All right. Yes, fine, Teddy, you were right. Now, can you please get the bomb out of the vent and dispose of it somewhere? Honestly, I wish we could but it's too dangerous to move. We have to defuse it on site. I have to evacuate this entire block. It's gonna take all night. Wait, so you're saying? Wedding's off. For real, it's over. What a disaster. Yeah. Why don't we just get married tomorrow? We could go to City Hall. <sighs> Jake, do you really want to get married in the same place people go to get restraining orders? Amy Santiago, I would marry you anytime, any place. Okay. City Hall it is. No! I didn't spend the last seven years watching your love ripen, only to have it sullied by a City Hall wedding. You're getting married right here, right now. We are here today to celebrate the marriage of Jake Peralta and Amy Santiago. Today has been a crazy day, but I shouldn't be surprised because we've had a lot of crazy days. There was our first date, our first kiss, the first time you told me you loved me, and the day you told me you would marry me. Also, yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that, because every single day that I get to be with someone as amazing as you is crazy to me. I've been planning this wedding for the last six months, and if you told me yesterday everything that was gonna go wrong, I would have had a panic attack that sent me into the ER. But I'm here, and I've never been happier. Life is unpredictable. Not everything's in our control, but as long as you're with the right people, you can handle anything. And you, Jake Peralta, are the right person for me. But I do have some bad news. There is a bomb at this wedding as well. What? Your butt. Your butt is the bomb. There will be no survivors. Do you, Amy Santiago, take Jake Peralta to be your husband? I do. And do you, Jake Peralta, take Amy Santiago to be your wife? I absolutely do. By the power vested in me by the state of New York, I'd like to announce that your honeymoon vacation request status has officially been moved from pending to approved. You're married. You may kiss the bride. Now that everyone's here, I have an email that I need to open. It says if you got the commissioner a job. Oh my what? God. Here we go. Well, from the look on my face, I'm sure you can guess what it says. No, we have no idea at all. Just tell us, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> 